In this episode, the boys make the most of their day in camp. What the hell, dude? <laughs> Evan just looks like a sucker. That's how it starts. That is how it starts. You tension. Just spitballing it here. Uh, just got done with our first night out here in the Boundary Waters. Epic night, epic day yesterday. Good paddling. Uh, we came up about 11 miles total of paddling. Ended the night with a pretty awesome Voyager celebration uh, when we crossed the height of land. And we now have my dad and brother who we got to experience that. Fire's going, coffee's uh, gonna be started here soon. And our plan is to hopefully find the Gunflint Trail up there. There's a portage that'll intersect with it because it'd be nice to see what this lake looks like from the height of land. Oh, we're technically on the height of land now, but uh, from that point. All right. So last night we had our celebration, which the Voyagers traditionally took every time they crossed the height of land. And I was saying that the height of land is actually of a pretty significant geographical area because the height of land divides two different watersheds. Essentially, with the height of land here, all the rain that falls on that side of the Laurentian Divide goes up into the Arctic. It flows through the Hudson's Bay watershed and out through the Labrador Sea. All the rain and water that flows on this side of the divide flows east to the Great Lakes and makes its way out through the Gulf of St. Lawrence into the Atlantic uh, over by Montreal, Canada. If we're following the Laurentian Divide here and we go 120 miles to the west, to a small town in Hibbins, Minnesota, there's a geographical location there known as the Hill of Three Waters. And that is where the Laurentian Divide intersects with the St. Lawrence Divide. All the rain that falls west of that divide feeds into the Mississippi, uh, the Mississippi River watershed, which discharges into the Gulf of Mexico. The neat thing about this divide here is prior to the Oregon Treaty in 1818, this divide actually served as the northernmost boundary for the United States of America prior to the Louisiana Purchase. This trip was quickly growing into something more than a family reunion. We wanted to dedicate this trip in honor of a forgotten memory, and that is the role that the Hawaiians or Kanakas had played in the fur trade. To honor these Kanakas, we decided to fly the Hawaiian state flag at every campsite that we stopped. There was also a lot of unique history we uncovered, in which we'll share throughout the remainder of these videos. Yeah, we're good. We can start uh, paddling on. Pedal on left side. Yep. Go ahead, pedal for it. So I'll do something fun, Dad. I'll say change over, and then that means that um, that means it's time to go ahead and switch. So when I say change over, you say switch. Uh, so I'll be like change over on my paddle, and then you say switch on yours, and then we would we would switch it. Okay? So it's like a preparatory, and then a actual command execution. Let's give that a shot. Change over. Switch. Yep. And now we change. There you go. Sometimes it's hard for me to hear if you need to change, then you can take your paddle and just twice. Oh, yeah, there you go. I think we'll just hug the shoreline. Don't fight the wind so much. The wind would become an element we would need to contend with for the rest of our time out here. 
it would range anywhere from a light blow to a stiff 20 knots, kicking up some serious waves on open water. Catch your breath. Good crossing, Dad. Yeah, now all we're gonna do is find it. What a gong show. No go for that hiking. All the trees are blown over. Y'all ready? All ready. All right, let's, let's get moving. Hey, Ronald? Oh. Maybe you want to switch with Evan to be the heavy guy in the back. Yeah, well, I'm not sure the best way to do that. Hold on, Dad. Are you guys, uh... Okay. All right, you can go forward now, Dad. I was wondering what they were doing. Let's hold on to this, uh... Tree branch right ahead of us. Okay. Yep, and we'll just kind of hang out. They're going to swap. Yeah. With this wind, uh, they're going to have a hard time getting across the lake unless they have the heaviest person in back. No, we're landing. We're getting the boat. off this we're boat. Yeah. Oh, get me out of this branch. Don't put me in further into this branch. <laughs> Don't put me any further into this branch. I'm trying. Right there. Alright. Stepping out. Oh my god. No, I could switch out from here, I guess. I just gotta walk. Oh, you got, um... I gotta be able to access the moon back there. Yeah, sure. Sure, uh, if you wanna crawl up. Oh my god. All right, thank you, sir. Man, that. Uh. Yep. Getting ready to mount, and I am on. We are off to the races. After discovering it would be impossible to intersect with the Gunflint Trail. We shifted our focus to phase two of the operation for today, fishing. Bumblebee, Bumblebee, hop up over here. Yeah. Now it's up to everybody. Oh, we just provide shit. It's gone now, I think. I hope. Stuck? What? I have to cut it. 
relax and fish. What, Ronald? I just wanted to re relax, go fishing. Why can't you relax to go fishing? Because uh, both nephews have uh, sabotaged the uh, fishing setups. Okay. They sabotaged my relaxation. Evan, is that a chair? Oh, you go to your knees, and then you're kneeling. You're going to single it. There's the line. It's coming closer. Oh, you boo-boo. You foolish. Cook me out. Please, thank you. Reeling, Ron, you got him. Mm -hmm. It's a big one. We do have, uh, we only eat what we catch tonight. And it's not looking good, let me tell you. It's looking pretty grim. In Hawaii, we have a technique. We paddle lines out. We never paddle them in, really. It's the first time this is happening. And I can see my lure. <laughs> you, see, you see it. Yeah. Can anybody help me? No, no you done did this yourself. You done did this yourself. I'm gonna go out there and buzz them just to make it look easy. Here we go. It's recording. All right, put it in the water. Mm. It floats. Yeah, just throw it in the water. Look at that, it floats. One way to get. Man, I'm really hooked on this. <laughs> we need to talk about your addiction. Well, if there's one way to kill my fishing addiction, this is, this is one method. Getting. This is the way. Also, uh, oh no. <laughs> How'd you crash your boat? Turn on a dime. Mm -hmm. Like, he just paddled up this river sideways. He turned his boat from the front. Hey, he's doing the stir. Alright. I'm right through. Bloody show pony. Ooh. That's gonna be laying it in. I'm still learning. Good <laughs> 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 you turn it off. Well, if fishing's not gonna work. Oh, I promise that water is cold. <laughs> you got me a lot faster than I did. I was just step, wait a minute, step, wait a minute. It's cold. Oh, come over here, it's warm. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that, that is like hypothermia. Like, yep. I can feel my muscles. No, not enjoying this. This is real good. Oh. <laughs> you guys did a lot better than I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god.
freeze up your muscles? Kind of. Yeah. yeah. At first it was cold, but now I think they went numb. Yeah, it's it's actually not bad now. Yeah. I mean, it's not bad now. They went numb or adapted. <laughs> I'm sure on a cold day it's a lot worse. Well, I'm. I'm. I'm sh Careful. Sure, even like uh, hopping into the pool at Baba's yeah. house is yeah. almost yeah. as cold. <laughs> Stay the hell away from me! He's got slippers. Oh, me too. But I found every slippery rock. Come on, everyone's at least belly level. Oh. oh my god. My nipples are splashed in. They are splashed in. <laughs> I don't need a knife anymore. I got nipples. <laughs> cut, cut glass with these things. <laughs> oh god. Oh. <laughs> After a few failed attempts, we finally found an activity that everyone could enjoy. In our research, we discovered that the Hudson's Bay Company really valued Hawaiian laborers. Not just because of their fearless navigation skills or their strong paddling ability, but also because they were expert swimmers and were relied on to recover trade goods from the bottom of lakes and streams in the event that a canoe capsized. We were left in awestruck of such feats after spending only a few minutes swimming in this water. The race was on to complete our camp chores and get ready for the grueling day that was to come tomorrow, having to contend with long portage. The plan was to enjoy a quick dinner, pack up as much as we could tonight, and go to bed with the sun, because tomorrow morning would come way too early. Well, if you keep your hiking shoes on close to the top of your bag, okay. just take it out when that is. Hey, Aiden. Yes? You having a good time? Yes. Yeah? What was your best part? Fire. Fire? Make a fire? Saw. And and saw in the wood for the fire? Saw. Okay. Well, what, what would you like to do next next time we're out here? Bring my art supplies. You uh, forgot your art supplies? One thing I intended to bring. Oh, yeah, because you are, you are an artist. Hey, do you, do you know why people travel to see artists? Nope. It's because they know how to draw a crowd. Make a stop, 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 make a stop. All right, Dad, first day in camp, second day total. Second day in total, learning a lot. Yeah? Learning dirt timing. Impressing how much of a woodsman my son is. And my other son, we have no stuff too. And we got people coming in. We do. Highland Portage. Highland Portage, you can't miss it. Right down there. Right down there. Yeah. No, no, you're good. It, it's like um, 200 meters. I could throw a rock from there. Yeah. Thank you. It's Hawaii. Stay safe, guys. Uh, let's see. Uh, I like long walks on the beach. Uh, Michelle Branch is my guilty pleasure. Um, let's see. Uh, first dates, probably dinner and a movie, get to know each other, and then second dates, then we'll try uh, more, you know, private scenes. Public on the first date, you know, get to know each other more on the second. Well, that was a very <laughs> serious tradition until I heard that. I hope, I, I hope, hope we'll ask I hope another one comes on your face. Voyager's wife. Another Voyager's wife. Hey, maybe be. No. This one is... Oh, that's still okay. It was tickly as hell. <laughs> what? It was tickly as End of day two. It is uh, 9 o'clock, and we are all getting ready for bedding in. We've got a long day tomorrow to include the long portage. 
two mile portage. <laughs> Early rise. See you later. Thank you all for watching. Please stay tuned for scenes from our next installment when things go really bad, really fast. Mm, we're, we're close, not quite there yet, and we're dehydrated. Oh, we're always dehydrated. We've always been dehydrated. Not this bad. Gotta deal with it. Down to nothing in this. Oh, when we get to the end. We can... Aiden! <laughs>